piece by piece, an added layer of protection around the White House was carried away. A symbolic scale down of security at a place the president used to put on a show of force. Peaceful protesters were violently removed from this site nearly two weeks ago, so Donald Trump could hold a photo op. The country's top-ranking military officer says he now regrets taking part. I should not have been there. My presence in that moment and in that environment created a perception of the military involved in domestic politics. The general joins a list of military leaders, including two of Trump's former cabinet members, who have criticized the president's handling of the growing unrest. Trump focused elsewhere today, reaffirming his support for police, pledging additional funding and training. We'll make no progress and heal no wounds by falsely labeling tens of millions of decent Americans as racist or bigots. This message will be front and center when the president resumes campaigning next week. President Trump is, the African American community is very near and dear to his heart. Um, at these rallies, he often shares the great work he has done for minority communities. Trump's first rally in months is planned for Tulsa, Oklahoma. 99 years ago, white supremacists there destroyed a black community, killing hundreds of people. The date is June 19th, also known as Juneteenth, a holiday marking the end of slavery in the U.S. Well, we all know the history of Donald Trump, and the date is nothing by accident. I mean, it's a disrespect to the people from the past. I mean, I, I just don't think that... Maybe it's a slap in the face. With the additional layer of security fencing now gone, demonstrators are once again within shouting distance of the White House. The big question is whether their shouts are being heard. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.